Utah is sitting pretty when it comes to our snowpack this year. In fact, Utah water watchers say even if we don't get another flake of snow, the amount of water in Utah's mountains is already above average for the year. That's good news here. News specialist Lindsay Eretz has been talking to water experts today. And Lindsay, you have even more good news for us when it comes to our water this year. Yeah, Ashley and Dini, well, all this water has to go somewhere, and it's going to come down from our mountains eventually. And because of last year's record winter, our reservoirs are already above 80%, and that means once they fill, lakes like the Great Salt Lake and Lake Powell could see some of that runoff. Most of the reservoirs in the state will fill. The trickle of water flowing down from Utah's mountains today may not look like much, but once it all comes down, Utah water watchers are watching for it to raise the levels of Utah's big bodies of water. There's going to be a high potential for extra water carryover flow to make it to those downstream water bodies like the Great Salt Lake like Lake Powell in a, in a reasonably large and, and significant way. Jordan Clayton manages the Utah Snow Survey. They track Utah's water levels in our mountains. He says that Mother Nature's gift to us last winter, along with good management and conservation, means that today Utah's reservoirs are already 82% full. And once those reservoirs spill over, the water has to go somewhere. That could raise the, the level of the lake you know, one to two feet above where it is right now. And so that's that's pretty encouraging. You can see which areas of the state are average or above average for their snow water equivalent as of today. The areas in blue are above average, mostly in the north. The green in southern Utah is average snowpack. Last year it was dark blue. Last year, we were breaking records. But Clayton says this year, conditions are great for this time of year, but not necessarily record-breaking. And so that's why we're not really thinking about flooding yet. And again, it's going to really depend what happens in the next month or, or two. His dream scenario, though, more snow over March and April, even into May. My best case scenario, because I'm a snow scientist, is a little bit biased. But he's also keeping a cautious eye on the thermostat. And then it comes off very, very slowly. Once the sun angle gets really high in June, we don't cause flooding. But even if we don't get another drop of snow, the water that will eventually rush down from our mountains, Clayton says, is significant. Having two years that are above normal back to back is really going to be excellent for our water supply this summer. Yeah, again, you guys, I don't want you to think that we don't have to conserve water once it does start to warm up because Clayton says that that conservation and Utah's management of our water is a big reason why we're in this position. For now, reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Ashley, back to you. All right, Lindsay, enjoy that rain out there. Be sure to stay dry.